Hey everybody, I'm Tommy Scoville, and this is the Tommy Scoville Show. Welcome to the lifeboat, people. Got a little uh, celebration of sorts. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear lifeboat. Happy birthday to you. All right, everybody, blow. All right, well played. People, 30 days. 30 days ago, we launched the lifeboat. It is officially one month old. We didn't know it was a boat, and we did not know that, uh, that the name of it was lifeboat. But uh, this journey started 30 days ago, so those of you who just got here, you're still right on time, right? We're just getting this thing, I was going to say off the ground, we're just getting this thing out to sea. Um, and there's a couple of things that I wanted to tell you that I just am absolutely blown away by. Uh, first of all, people, there's 1,321 people on this boat, which makes it a ship, I believe. Uh, and the other thing that blows me away, people, is that uh, if you take all of the time that uh, people have watched the, uh, the show, all of the time that people have come here to try to improve themselves, and divide that by uh, the number of hours in a day, there have been 75 days worth of, uh, of this channel being watched in the first month. That's awesome. That's absolutely unbelievable. It's so far beyond what I possibly could have hoped for. And I'm not arrogant enough to, uh, to think that it's because of the fantastic job I'm doing. I would like to uh, thank two people who have been so monumental in the success of uh, what's been going on. Um, first of all, my brother Johnny has, uh, you know, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't. Johnny uh, helped uh, launch his uh, baby brother into this in a way that, um, yeah, no one, no one ever gets this kind of help when starting a YouTube channel. You know, the fact that Johnny is, uh, is fairly famous in the uh, YouTube community has really been a shot, um, you know, I was going to say a shot in the arm, but wouldn't that be a terrible phrase? Uh, it's really been a, a, a lift, you know, to, um, to the whole mission. And uh, secondly, um, my other brother, Mark Wages. Um, Mark has, not only has Mark sent over literally the greatest people that you'd ever want to come across. The people that have come over from Wages World have been absolutely incredible. They didn't just come over and watch a few videos. They have immediately become important um, members of the uh, of the boat and have lent so much already. Just some fantastic, fantastic people. Um, but on top of that, he has been my go-to for all things YouTube. The uh, walking me through the processes because I'm not good at this. Um, I really am not. I don't understand 90% of it. And he's patient <laughs> with me uh, because I'm sure it's like trying to teach a, a third grader calculus. But um, Mark bless you. You know, the, uh, the mission is, uh, is going well because of you. And uh, I really want to thank those, those two. And then everybody else, for those of you who have been telling your friends about it, for those of you who watch the videos, uh, who come here every day trying to live a better life, you've made my dream come true. I can't begin to tell you. I mean, that's how often can you say that to somebody? Or how often can you say it to a group of 13 other people? You have made my dream come true. This is the reality now. Thank you so much. Now, people, today, what I would like to talk about um, is honesty. One of the things that uh, one of the things that I believe to be the uh, you know one of the first slides right back down into uh, into relapse. The start of the process that's going to end up back in the bottle or the glass is uh, is dishonesty and. Not just dishonesty to uh, to other people, although that's glaring and obvious, but um, dishonesty to yourself. Uh, you know, we create a new creature. If today is your first day of sobriety, God bless you, but it is the first day of a new you. And as I say in the steps, that new you is blameless. We're not gonna we're not gonna throw all of the uh, the sins that you committed while uh, being, you know, in the life and toss it onto the new person. It's not fair. It's just, it's not a great idea. It really isn't because the new person is a new creature that no longer is being dictated to by a chemical or by a habit. Uh, so it's super important that the new you doesn't drag any of the old you with it. And that means that when you're taking a look at who you are, you can't lie to yourself about who you are, what you're doing, things of that nature. I, uh, I read a quote by a, uh, 
the uh, great author Virginia Woolf. Um, and the quote was, if you do not tell the truth about yourself, you cannot tell it about other people. In the context of what she was talking about, she was talking about how if you write a character, and she developed some of the great characters in history, but if you uh, try to develop a character, um, she said the, the biggest virtue in her mind is truth. She believed that honesty breeds creativity, but the writer must tell all truths, and this is key, people, this is us, including the unpleasant ones. It's difficult to openly paint ourselves as petty, vain, mean, selfish, unfaithful, or unsuccessful. But only after we take an honest look at ourselves can we see anything in others. As you start to move forward, one of the things in the steps is you really take a look at who you were, right? So that you can define who you are. I used myself as an example when I talk about the old Tommy. He was a thief, he was dishonest, uh, you couldn't count on him, right? All of those attributes were the catalyst for making the new me because I said, okay, well, I don't want to be this, I don't want to be that, I don't want to be this. You have to define what it is you are to define what it is that you're not going to be. Um, with, uh, I've told you, I, I struggle with what happened with my, uh, with my ex-wife. It's, um, it's one of the real guilt uh, things that I work on every day to try to forgive myself for. Um, the, the crazy thing is that during uh, the, the time when I was destroying the, uh, the marriage right before I went to prison, um, I was out committing crimes for the purpose of getting drugs. Very oftentimes not with my wife. And during those times, my wife in her head got to the point where she believed that um, I was cheating on her. I'll tell you right now, I wasn't. Not with another person. But if you're lying to your significant other, you're cheating on them. It may not be the same um, in terms of what uh, you know society thinks as far as infidelity, but you are cheating the relationship if you're not honest. And I did that, and it really destroyed not only um, the relationship that I had with her, but it did tremendous damage to my soul. The same thing can happen to yourself. For that brief overlap, there's two Tommies, right? Because as much as I was a new creation on the 27th of June, when I uh, stopped using all those years ago, um, the next day, right, on the 28th, there was still a whole lot of the old Tommy left. Yeah, the new Tommy was uh, a new creature and was without blame, but the, uh, there were so many of the old attributes that were clinging on for dear life. Uh, we can't have our cake and eat it too. You can't. You have to literally dump all of those things that have dragged you down and get rid of them. And in the beginning, especially in the beginning, this is a day-to-day -day, um, commitment that uh, someone has to every single day sort of reaffirm. And as I talk in the steps, I talked about, look, every day, taking a really good look at where you're going because you're either going forward or you're going backwards. And if you want to develop into the best you you can be, if you want to live the best life that you can possibly live, you can't do it dishonestly. It's not possible. Um, and if you're lying to yourself and telling yourself that you can, then you're probably in deep trouble. Um, there are questions that we need to ask ourselves each and every day. And the honesty question is something that I think everybody, especially those of us with addictive personalities, and I don't care what the addiction is, right? When I say addiction people, I know I'm, I'm harping on this, but that's because we have people who got on the boat yesterday. Um, you know, the, when I say the addiction, it doesn't matter if it's a chemical, right? What it is is something dictating your life to you. Thank you, L.B. Loxley. Something dictating your life. Um, and that dictator will cause you to lie not only to other people but to yourself. You can't lie to yourself. If you do, you're going to start lying to other people. Until you are honest with yourself, you're not going to be honest with other people. And dishonesty is going to erode everything that you're trying to do in a relationship, whether that relationship is with a significant other, a child, a parent, right, a sibling, or that relationship is with a new you. You better be completely honest with who and what you are and be comfortable with it, right? If uh, it's just like in a relationship, if you have something that is a massive secret, and we've all done this as addicts, you have something that is just such a, uh, almost like a sacred cow. Well, there's that one thing I'm not going to tell. Chris uh, Rock does a, uh, 
um, a comedy routine about uh, there's that skeleton in the closet. Uh, if if the person that uh, you're with is somebody that you you know don't feel comfortable sharing all of those things with, what you have in that closet, you need to ask yourself why. Why is that um, not something that you're comfortable with? And the, the reasons may be noble as hell. They may be that I just don't want to hurt that person. I don't want to do this. But here's the thing. If you're not being completely honest with that other person, much like not being honest with yourself, who you're hurting is them and who you're hurting is yourself. If we can't be honest in everything that we do, then we're eroding the person that we were meant to be. And I have said before, people, that... 63.4% um, of statistics are made up on the spot. Okay, that being said, I'm going to throw out a 92% of, uh, of all relapses start with dishonesty. And if you think about it, people, it's the truth. Um, in fact, if we really wanted to do it, 100% of relapses start with dishonesty because the first thing you're going to do is lie to yourself. The illustration that I used, that I used in one of the uh, earlier uh, videos that I did where... I drove over to that thrift store, right? Just went over there to get to get uh, look for shirts, maybe see if I could pick up a pair of shoes and look at watches. And I went to the one as far away as I possibly could, dead in the middle of the hood, right? Um, I was lying to myself. Why was I going to that one? There was one much closer by. Um, and I didn't do anything wrong that day. I talked about it, right? But the relapse had started. So the following time I went over there, um, there was the next lie. Started with the little one, right? I'm just going to that store because, you know, it's... The second lie was, um, while I'm over here, I'm going to not go see my friend. You know what I mean? Why? Because I'm sober now. I got to be a jerk. Second lie. I mean, I knew exactly what was going on. In the back of my head, I knew what I was doing. I wanted to get that close to the drug, right? I wanted to be close. And, you know, it's like putting your hand over a flame, right? Or poking the bear. That first day or that second day, I didn't relapse that day. I went over. I gave the guy money to buy dope and watched the, the guy deliver it. And then I left. Rock of Gibraltar, right? Solid. Gallant. Um... Then the next time, right? I don't remember whether the next time was the relapse or the time after, but it didn't matter because the relapse happened when I drove over to the place. When I started lying to myself, the game was over. People, please, as we're going forward, be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself. It will allow you to be honest with the people around you, and it is going to be the bedrock of building the new you. In fact, when you're making the list of the attributes that you want the new you to be, I think you should be nervous if the first attribute is not honest. For real, right? When If you say to people who don't even understand addiction, what do you think the first sign of addiction probably is? Most people are going to say denial. Denial is a really nice way to say lying, right? You're going to deny something that is absolutely the truth. <laughs> I don't have a problem. Um, I, I can stop at two beers. This time I'll be able to just get high on the weekends, right? Those lies are the bedrock of being an addict, a junkie an alcoholic, a drunk, whatever you want to call it, right? Or people, a gambling addict, a pornography addict, a, uh, a sex addict, whatever the case may be, it doesn't matter what the habit is. You understand? The habit's a dictator. They, they come in different sizes and different shapes, but they are all the dictator that is taking over and ruling our lives. So people going forward, Please, I beg of you, as you define the new you, the first attribute on that list better be honesty. Because without it, you're going to fail. 97.7% .7 chance that you're going to fail. People, happy birthday to this channel. Happy birthday to everybody who has made this fly. You people are the greatest. Um, and if, if you're just catching this for the first time and you want to be part of this uh, amazing boat that we have. You want to be on the lifeboat and really start to take a look at living the best life you possibly can. The way you do that, people, is you click on the bat symbol. That would be this thing right over here, right? It's somewhere over here. Um, it is a nice blue symbol, and it says uh, the TSS on it. It's the Tommy Scoville Show. Uh, over here, you're going to see videos. People, make sure you click on some of those. There are nuggets of great stuff in those videos, so make sure you watch them at least seven times. And I will see you later this evening. I am Tommy Scoville. This is The Lifeboat.